Good morning and welcome to the Tara's Kitchen with Pixel's mom. Today I will be making a vegan lemon blueberry cake. This cake has no dairy whatsoever, no eggs, no milk, and no butter. The ingredients you will need today are three cups of all-purpose flour, two cups of sugar, two teaspoons of baking soda, two teaspoons of white vinegar, 10 teaspoons of canola oil or vegetable, your choice, two fourths of lemon juice, two teaspoons of vanilla, one full cup of blueberries, and then it's your choice if you put frosting, which I will be doing once the cake has been made. Now the recipe does call for half of the ingredients that I've just listed, however, I am making a two-tiered cake. When you do double, you do make a double cake, you have to double the recipe itself or triple it, depending on how many layers you're actually making. This cake will take approximately 35 to 40 minutes or until it comes out clean with a skewer and it bakes at 350 degrees. You're gonna want two round baking pans and make sure that you spray them with a pan, nice oil or a spray so that the cakes do not stick. All right, so let's get started. Okay, our first step is going to be to incorporate our dry ingredients, which would be the flour, the sugar, and the baking soda. So we're gonna put that into one bowl. We're gonna stir this all together. And then we're gonna take our other bowl, which is back here, move this one aside. And we are going to incorporate our wet ingredients. Okay, so we're going to add our water. Our lemon juice. Our canola oil. Our white vinegar. And our vanilla. Going to incorporate those all together well. And then we're going to move our flour dry ingredient bowl back and incorporate the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. I'm going to fold that all in until it makes a nice dough. Once we have that all incorporated together, then we will fold in our blueberries. All right, now that our batter has been combined, looks very smooth and good, we are going to fold our blueberries into our batter. You don't want to over stir them, you just want them to be mixed in with the actual batter itself. Makes a nice blue consistency to our our actual cake mixture itself. Okay, and once we have that done, we're gonna take our two pans and fill them with our batter. And I'll be right back to show you when that's done. Okay, our cakes have been divided evenly into our two baking pans, and now we're gonna put them in the oven at that 350 degree temperature for approximately 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, folks, our cakes have now come out of the oven. It took about 35 minutes, and they are coming out clear with a skewer. And now they're going to have to do a complete cool before I can do any of the frosting on them. So it should be about another half hour. So we'll be back once the cakes have cooled. Okay, folks, our cakes have cooled and come out of the oven. I've gotten them all ready to cake out of the pan. I have one on my plate, and it's time for us just to make the icing real quick. We're going to need one cup of confectionery sugar, two teaspoons of oat milk, maybe three, depending on how thin I want the actual glaze, and two teaspoons of lemon juice for the flavor. So we're going to start out with the two teaspoons full of milk. Try swisking this together, see how it works. I have a feeling I'm going to need a little bit more than what it's saying. Let's 
put the lemon in and see how that does, if that'll help. A little bit of lemon. And the lemon juice will make it taste like a more of the lemon cake itself, which will be a nice addition to the flavor of the actual glaze itself. So I'll be back as soon as I get this ready and then we'll glaze the cake. Alrighty, I chose to do a light glaze instead of a heavy cream frosting because I just like the flavor and the texture of the glaze on a cake. I'm not crazy about eating a cake with a big thick amount of frosting on it. So the glaze is all ready and I'm going to put the little bit of glaze on the first part of the cake. Spread it all on there nicely. Get ready to put the second layer on. Oh, that's all right. And it smells so nice and bright and lemony. Make sure we get all the edges here. So it tastes really good. Okay, and we'll add the second layer of the cake. And chop. Mm, that looks really good. And then we're going to just pour our glaze across our cake. Hopefully it'll go around the sides like I want it to. I'm going to put the remainder in the center of the cake itself. Spread it so that it drips down a little bit. And that's exactly what I wanted it to do is just drizzle down the sides. And like I said, I don't really love a whole lot of frosting on my cakes. I just want to know that there's something there. That moistens it a little bit further. And there we go. Our lemon cake is complete. It is drizzling a little bit on the sides, which is very nice. It makes it look very pretty. And you know what I gotta do next? I gotta slice into it and give it a try. Be right back when I have a piece cut. Okay, I sliced into the cake. As you can see, it looks very moist, not dry at all. Blueberries are nice and incorporated throughout the cake itself. And we're going to give it a try and see how it tastes. Try to get a little bit more of the extra blueberries in there with this first bite. You can see the frosting on the top. And we'll see how it tastes. Yeah, as if it stays on my fork. Here we go. Mmm. Oh man, that's really, really good. If you like subtle flavors of lemon and blueberry, this is definitely the cake that you'd want to make. It's very good. Very, very moist. I'm very, very impressed in the way it came out. The drizzle from the, the icing went all around the cake like I was hoping it would. And it just really tastes good. The extra lemon inside the icing really made it taste amazing. Okay, folks, I really hope that y'all had a good time watching this video. Give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe, and come back and watch some more videos in the future. Thanks so much for joining me, and I hope y'all have a wonderful day. This is Tara's Kitchen with Pixel's Mom telling you to be well and be safe.